The Edgewonk Trading Journal now syncs with your MetaTrader 4 platform and all of your trades that you are taking on MetaTrader 4 can automatically be synced to the Edgewonk Trading Journal. The setup is very easy. After you've created a journal, you just scroll down here on the left menu and then under imports. When you go to the import type drop down, you will see that there's a new selection MetaTrader 4 in brackets auto. That's the one that you need to choose. Then you need to select a setup that will be applied to all of the trades that you're importing. You can also create a new setup, which you can do under settings and then setups. And then you just have to edit your FTP settings and also do this in MetaTrader. This is very easy. You click here on the white button that comes up and then Edgewonk will show you what you have to do. At the same time, you can open your MetaTrader and in your MetaTrader, you go to tools and then you open the options. And then here is a tab, which is called FTP. You have to open this and then you'll just have to copy the things that Edgewonk is showing you into your MetaTrader 4. So we just copy this one, FTP server. We go back to our MetaTrader, we paste it here. Then we need the FTP path. As you will see, the FTP path doesn't need to be changed. Here's your FTP login. This will be unique for your trading account in Edgewonk. Just copy this to your clipboard. Go back to your MetaTrader 4, paste it in here. And then in Edgewonk, you have to create a new unique FTP password. And this password you will then also add into your MetaTrader. You type in the FTP password once, then you confirm it. And then you go back to your MetaTrader 4. You type in the same password here. You have to activate the passive mode. You also have to activate enable automatic publishing of reports via FTP. Under account, you just type in your account number from MetaTrader 4, the one that you want to sync. And then under refresh every, you have to select 60 minutes. And we recommend to set this to 60 minutes. In the Edgewonk Trading Journal, you are now done. You just click here on save. And then also Edgewonk will tell you that your FTP password has been added successfully. When you want to start the sync the first time, you can just click on test here. And then you can see the success message here, MetaTrader. We can confirm this by closing it. And now MetaTrader 4 will keep this data for you. When you go here to the bottom and you go to journal, you can see that the publisher was started and then the publisher said, okay, this means that your trading data has been synced to Edgewonk. We can go to your account history and then you can see this is our current account balance of this demo account. We see 10,000, one euro and 25. We have taken three trades. And now when we go back to our Edgewonk trading journal, we can go to our journal and then you can see here are the three trades. We can hit refresh on our browser and then also the account balance will match. It's 10,001 euro and 25 cent. The way the sync works in MetaTrader is that every action will be synced. So assuming we want to open a trade here in MetaTrader, you do this as you normally would. You can type in your stop loss and your take profit order. You choose the volume and then you can just buy or sell the market. And now we sold the market. You can see we have one open trade on the Swiss yen. And when we go back to our Edgewonk trading journal, we just go back to our journal and you can see the trade is already in here. It just takes a few seconds for the trade to arrive on average. Sometimes during peak times, this might take a little bit longer, but it should be quite fast. One thing to keep in mind is that if you change your stop loss and your take profit in MetaTrader 4, the stop loss and the take profit will only be synced when you're closing the trade. So if you're changing the stop loss or the take profit mid trade, those two values will not be synced to your Edgewonk trading journal. Only when you're closing the trade, those two values will also go to your trading journal. Now let's see, we're closing this trade. Under account history, we see that we made a loss here and the new account balance is 9,999 and 69 cents. We go to our Edgewonk trading journal, we can refresh here. And then at the top left, you see the account balance has updated. We have here the Swiss yen as the losing trade. And then you can complete the setup. You can open the individual trades. You can add the other tags as you normally would with your Edgewonk trading journal using the trade commons, custom statistics, adding the highest and the lowest price, adding your screenshots and do all the other journaling work.